Hi, this is Rachel in the library of Lady VLA, and this is my uh, vlog review for Perfect Chemistry by Simone Alcalis. I've sort of been hearing about this book for quite a while on various uh, other blogs, and my Amazon kept recommending it, me to, recommending it to me all the time. But earlier this month, my uh, very good friend Jess basically ordered me to get a copy and read it straight away. Um, I'm not one for disobeying direct orders from trustworthy sources, so I went out and bought myself a copy and read it that very same day. <laughs> and I loved it. It was brilliant. And it was... The, I'm not going to reiterate the general plot line to you. I've put a description on my blog post with this, uh, but I really liked the sort of the whole tension and just chemistry between Alex and Brittany. It was spine tinglingly good, and plus, who can resist a bad boy like Alex? Plus, a Spanish one. All that Spanish in the book was just kind of fun for me because I study Spanish, so reading bits in Spanish, although I didn't know most of them, but can guess quite a lot of it. Um, also really liked um, the secondary characters, Isabel and Paco especially, and I thought Isabel was really sweet and Paco was lovely and resisting spoilers, can't spoil it for other people who haven't read it yet. But Paco! Mm. Also, really liked how sort of although Britney was supposed, to, kind of supposed to be general kind of bitch queen, perfect life, whatever. But sort of seeing it, her sort of human side, but when she's at home with her sister Shelley, who, and that's something you don't tend to get in most sort of YA novels with the whole kind of perfect queen bee, top of the social hierarchy, and actually have a normal home. Well, not a not even normal home life. But less than normal home life with parents that don't really sort of listen to her properly and, and then sister who's sort of ill and that she acts that she cares a lot about her sister which is really quite sweet and the, the book was wasn't that long and I, it was really quite fast paced especially sort of towards uh, the, la the end and everything but something didn't really like was the epilogue at the end. I'm not going to spoil it, but let's just say it was a bit too Deathly Hallows, if you get what I mean. I love basically all of the book, and I really like um, Simone's writing style. And I'm going to have to get uh, Rules of Attraction and, and maybe some of her other books, Leaving Paradise and Return to Paradise, whenever it comes out. And so basically, I gave this uh, four and a half stars out of five. My rating system's a bit kind of here or there, sort of basically depends on whether I'm going to reread it or not, or kind of how much I like the characters, whether I just thought it was really, um, uh, the re writing style was really good, and that's sort of I think the main factors that I rate books on, although I'm a bit too liberal with four stars. I like giving out four stars to books I read without really knowing why. But yeah, perfect chemistry. I definitely recommend that you find a copy because Alex Fuentes, you will just want to take him home with you. <laughs> and so this is the second blog I've done now, and sort of hoping to as I'm revamping my, my blog to include more vlogs because I like this style of talking at camera rather than trying to order my scattered thoughts down into a written post. So I thought kind of what other ideas of blogs could I do? And if you anyone's got any suggestions for things that you want me to do in a vlog that's book related or yes, mostly book related. Um, just leave a comment on my blog or on this video if you happen to be watching it on YouTube. So, 
yeah leave me a comment please thanks